Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the land expansion. I'm going to expand one of my baby farms and we're going to do a game. So let's get started. I have Mike here. Oh, we're having double coins even. I didn't notice that. But I'm still going to say no because I just don't want to sell my vegetables. So we have a new friend request. Let's see who do we have here. And my friend's book going to get full again. So we have Fazenda Day. I'm sorry, I can't read your name, but welcome. Level 17 farmer. So let's harvest some crops. I got some white lilies, potatoes, and the bell papers. So we're just going to harvest them. And let's see what do we get. All right, I got a bolt. Awesome. Although I don't need bolts, I need planks. Oh my god, I'm so low on soybeans. I can't believe I've actually got Rose hired. And so, yeah. She's doing all my work, and I'm going to go with carrots. So make sure you replenish your stock of carrots and soybeans before you go to bed if you have higher rows. Because rows would not use your crops if you have less than 10 or only 10. So I have a boat here, and I'm just going to collect the products that I've been making. I've got some pancakes, and we have the plum smoothie and the veggie lasagna. So I think that's cool. I'm going to be start filling my boat. 12 hours left on my boat. I think I got a little bit late. And, okay, I'm going to be asking for help. And the next step, you guys know, is to advertise my shop with the help of... This is Rustic Bouquet. So there we go. One over. And I'm going to collect my honeycombs. Come on. I actually need to make a lot of honey. Let's see what do we have in here. Okay, I'm going to put more honey. I think I've got beeswax on my other farms, so I'm going to collect some milk. It's not a problem, actually, because I'm not going to feed them. Rose will feed them. So let's go to my town and start doing some work. Now, I totally love to play town. You guys know that because I can get so many expansion materials from here, even land tools. That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So if you want to get any kind of tools, saws, axes, um, barn, silo, town tools, uh, just keep playing your town all the time. Start upgrading your town as soon as you can because it's really going to help you guys, believe me. And that is how I also level up faster in the game, you guys know that. So we're just going to be um, collecting all my townies over here and okay, I'm going to send some thank you letters. So thank you Nils for helping my town. Alright, we're just going to click from here as well. And there we go. I've also made pretty much a lot of XP. And we're going to go to my neighbors to see if they got any good townies. But they do not, unfortunately. But what can I do? It, it all depends on your luck. So I'm just going to get back. There's no good wizards to pick up. And I'm going to be sending them to their buildings. All right, two fishing ships. There we go. My train is coming. Let me have a look when my person train is coming. It's coming in 16 minutes, so I guess I can wait. I have a lot of expansion tools here as well. You guys can see a lot of saws and axes and some coins as well. So these are all the rewards that the town visitors will give you when they will visit your sanctuary. Now I'm going to be starting sending these visitors to the buildings so that we can ser set, uh, serve them and see what do they need. So I think they're still arriving. I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds. All right, the train is going and I'm just going to send them to the buildings and then I'm just going to serve them. So there we go. And I do like the names of all these visitors. So we have Edward here, John, John again. Well, there are two Johns, Liam and Sid. Okay, so now I'm just going to be serving them. There we go. That was cake, two lobster tails, um, lobster pass. I can do that. The tackles I can do. Let's do these and these. All right, there we go. And guys, I wanted to ask you a question. Please comment which kind of videos do you prefer. Do you prefer the commentary videos or the non-commentary videos that I uploaded a few days ago? Uh, the yesterday's video that was without any commentary. Because I know there are a lot of people that only enjoy the simple gameplays. But there are some people that also enjoy the voice. So please let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. Should I post more videos with my voice? Or should I post simple gameplay videos? Because you know it gets kind of hard. Um, when you do not speak because I cannot explain only with the captions or subtitles. So it's easy for me to speak and uh, to convey my message to you guys. 
So um, somebody helped my pancakes, but I think nobody done the smoothie and we're just gonna wait. All right, guys, now we're gonna come to what are the land expansions. So the land expansions basically unlock at level 22 when you're actually a low level player. So here you guys can see that I have almost expanded a lot of my lands. So this whole area is totally expanding. You guys can see I have decorated this area with the help of trees and walls and bushes. And the cross the road section actually has a lot of land with really cool decorations. But the problem is it needs expansion permits. Now expansion permits are really hard to get now. I think they used to be common in 2017. They didn't used to be that difficult, but I think Haiti has made them very hard to get. Now, unless you spend a lot of diamonds in the Derby, which of course I don't, but I do like the Valley Shop because I can get a lot of expansion permits from there. So you guys can see that I've actually expanded pretty much a lot of land here. And if I want to expand some more, I'm going to need 12 expansion permits. And that is literally crazy. All right, so currently I'm one of my uh, friend's farms. And you can see that this is just a small farm. There's nothing that you can do. Uh, we have a Mr. Box. Ooh, we just got two. Uh, what are these? Marcus takes. It's amazing. And you can you can see that this is only a small farm. The land is still not expanded, and you cannot do anything. So when you get the land, make sure you start expanding it as soon as you can because it's going to be really helpful for you. I recommend you to get a lot of tools e either from your neighbors. Um, you can trade if you want to, or you can just play simply your game and start doing all the work. Now, a lot of people do not like to expand land that much faster but when i was a level player my main focus used to be my land and my barn i didn't used to focus a lot on my silo and my fishing area so i first opened a lot of land i also traded a lot so if you want to trade that's a very good option and they can help you to get your land um there's so many ben benefits of having extra land for example you can plant more trees and bushes which can help you to get more coins by selling them secondly you can decorate your farm like i've done here with a lot of cool decorations and the third point is that you can actually easily manage your farm you don't have to put all the things together um you know you don't have to incorporate everything into each other so when the machines are separate you can easily see that which ones are here and i think the lanes that are expanded look really pretty now the question is how to get the land tools so there are many so many ways you guys can actually get the land tools in the game the first method that i showed you guys right now was actually um playing your town daily it doesn't matter if you're a low level player, it does not matter if your town is not fully maxed, you will still get the expansion uh, materials when you fully serve a town wizard, which means when you serve a town wizard that needs to go to the one building, or when you fully complete their building request, they will give you a expansion material, which could be a land tool, a barn tool, a salad tool, so that there's from you can get them. The second way to get these tools faster is by doing a lot of harvesting. Make sure you do a lot of harvesting, plant crops um, and harvest them. I plant a lot of wheat because weeding is one of the best ways to get expansion materials. Secondly, um, your pets, they are very helpful. They can give you a lot of tools in a day. They sleep after every six hours so you can get like a lot of tools from them like three times a day, which I think is really cool. So I've got all the pets and I can get so many tools from here now the only problem is that the expansion permits because they are very hard to get and these are meant to be hard i mean i have no problem i'm completely okay because i see a lot of people complaining about not getting enough expansion permits either on the facebook page twitter instagram people are complaining everywhere but my answer to you guys is that hey it is meant to be relaxing you can level up faster but there's some things that you have to wait in order to do and this is what the land expansion is a part of you have to wait for so many years but if you're one of those persons that spend a lot of diamonds in haiti for example on your derby rewards then you can easily open your land because i've seen a lot of players even i've seen low level players like level 90 level 100 that they have already expanded a lot of land here maybe they've been playing for so many long time maybe they play derby uh derby also affects a lot some people like to do derby every week but i do not like to do derby so that's why it's taking a very long time but i'm in no rush my farm is easily being managed i have all my things properly arranged and i think i'm enjoying my game so it's not a problem for me Okay, so now I'm on my level 53 farm and, ew, I haven't left the valley. I think I need to leave the valley. So the valley is also going to start in two days and 12 hours. We have the mystery package. Let's see. All right, I'm going to collect the five diamonds. All right, guys, so I'm here at my level 53 farm. And you guys can see that I have already expanded a lot. 
So this is your main area. This is across the road land. Now there are some pieces that need no expansion permits, but there are some pieces that need expansion permits. So you don't have to rush. You just have to take it slowly. And I've got 25 expansion permits over here. That's cool. Also due to the ADS limit, it gets really hard to expand your land faster. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to be expanding the land. Now it all depends how you want to play the game, how you want to do things. You don't have to open all the land immediately. You just take it slowly, take your time, make sure your farm is being managed. For example, I have a lot of space and I'm only on level 53 and I don't even have a lot of machines. I've only got a couple of machines which I can easily put and I also don't have a lot of trees and bushes so my farm is easily being managed. So I'm just going to be opening this area here which says expand your farm. Three, two, one, here we go. All right, that is expanded. Now another tip here, oh, fish booster, is that do not cut these trees. Do not cut these trees because they will look so pretty when the Halloween or Christmas theme will come. Now the mistake that I did on my main farm is that I actually cut out all the trees, but I'm not going to do these mistakes on these farms. And look at this beautiful Halloween decoration and it's a kind of scary area and Chick Norris is coming out of that. Is this a grave or something like that? So I think there's also achievement that is related to the land expansion. So if we go down, yeah, I think, yeah, that's the fishing area expand and expand the town is there as well. And I'm pretty sure there was a achievement. There was an achievement that was related to expanding your farmland. Let's see if we have that or not. Yep, there we go. Land owner, expand your farm 17 times. So make sure you complete that to get free diamonds and XP. And I've already completed that and you guys saw that I just expanded a piece of land. And this area is looking really beautiful. Alright guys, that was it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions related to land expansion or land tools, you can ask me in the comments. And please subscribe for more Haiti videos that I'll be posting. And I really appreciate you guys watching and commenting. Um, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye.